hey what is up guys so today I'm just gonna get right down to it um, I'm gonna show you how to clone your own voice in 11 labs it's a really short video so make sure you have a pen and paper handy and let's get ready to take some notes all right so you want to go ahead and log into your 11 labs account and on the left hand side you want to click on voices and over here on the right you can click on add a new voice so you're gonna have a few options here so we're going to be using the instant voice clone today. Uh, this is essentially a really down and dirty option to clone your voice. You just need a small audio sample, like a basic single recording of your voice. Um, however, we also have this professional voice clone option, and uh, this produces a more refined and realistic result. It's going to require at least 30 minutes of clean, high quality audio for the training and it's usually ideal for advanced use cases like creating professional content. Um, like I said, we're gonna use the instant voice clone here for this video. So once we've clicked on that, you're gonna be prompted to enter a name. Just give it something generic or whatever identifies your voice. So now we're gonna have two options for uploading or creating an audio file. Right, so if you don't have an audio recording readily available, you wanna click on record audio. Um, to record it directly onto the platform. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today. I don't have a recording just to briefly show you how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. All right, so you wanna make sure that you're speaking clearly and ensuring the quiet environment is in effect for the best results to make sure that there isn't any background sound in it because that'll distort the voice quality. If you already have a high quality audio voice uh, you wanna clone, you can go ahead and just click that upload voice we're gonna talk in an intonation that's a little higher, and then we're also gonna give a sample of something lower, right? Absolutely, this is gonna be the best. Now, the other option is uploading a file. So if you already have high quality audio of the voice you wanna clone, um, you can go ahead and click that upload button and select the file from your computer and upload it. Um, you can upload up to 25 audio samples at one time, uh, providing multiple samples for your voice improves the model's accuracy and then again use audio files without background noise to get the best results all right so before we finalize this upload um, we can go ahead and fine-tune the uh, input audio so check this box here to remove the uh, background noise from the audio samples and then down here you can go ahead and create labels um, this specifies additional details such as accent tone or speaking style for example, we have the old American male voice. Um, you can also add something like calm and professional tone. Uh, this step is optional, but it could help further customize the clone voice. It really just depends on what you're using this voice for. So we're gonna leave this blank for right now. And then we have to check this box to confirm that you own the rights to the voice and you have permission to clone it. So once we've done that, we can click on add voice. And here the system is gonna process the audio file and create the digital clone. All right, so once we've done that, we're gonna go over to the left-hand side and click text-to-speech. And we're gonna go ahead and under voice on the right-hand side, just click, you can search for your demo voice. Um, mine's already populated here. And then from here, we're just gonna enter the text that we want the voice to read aloud um, in this text box. So once we've typed something in here, we're gonna go ahead and click on generate speech and let's see what it sounds like. Hello, YouTubers. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful. So that kind of sounds like me, right? So let's add an exclamation mark and then generate the speech again. Hello, YouTubers. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful. That's more like it. So after generating the initial input, you can fine tune the voice. So we can go over here to stability. Um, adjusting this will adjust the consistency of the voice's tone and uh, delivery. So similarity increases or decreases the similarity to the original voice and style exaggeration adds emphasis or uh, dramatization to the speech. Again, it all depends on what the use case is going to be for this specific clone. So you want to continuously uh, test and retweak it to make sure that you're getting your ideal output. For example, you can test with different phrases to ensure that the voice can handle various intonations, accents, or emotions. So I'm going to change the style exaggeration. I'm gonna move it uh, about 50% up, and I'm gonna regenerate, see what it sounds like. Hello, YouTubers. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this tutorial helpful. So it's gonna sound different every time, right? So if you want something that's more consistent, you wanna make sure that you tweak these settings here just right, and then train the agent with more audio samples. So you can, again, upload up to 25 audio samples at one time. So once you're satisfied with the results, your clone voice is ready for use. For business owners, this is a game changer for social media content creation. You can add it as a voiceover to your short form content and run it over a B-roll, uh, or you can actually have a voice agent cloned in your voice to make outbound cold calls or handle inbound calls for customer interactions. Uh, the use cases are limitless. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. If you're interested in implementing voice agents into your business, click on the calendar link below, book an appointment with me, and let's get your business optimized for this new digital age we are entering. Thank you and I'll see you at the next video.